guys. So we've got our pad prepared. It's time to just get it all placed in and hooked up as we as we want. Start by putting the manifold there. We want our shutoff valve to go there. And we've just got to check that we're going to be able to put our boxes where we want them. I'm pretty happy with that. We'll cut these boxes to fit. Um, so don't worry if it doesn't fit in the holes to start off with. Make sure if you're using a square box here for your shutoff valve, that you've got it in the right side and that your shutoff valve can actually has the room to work the way it's supposed to. And that one's perfect. All right, so now we know exactly where we've got it in the right spot. Still just got to add a connector to this one. in first. Now remember this one has an o-ring there and a flat surface that matches it so there is absolutely no need for any of our trusty old mate the, the thread tape. Tidy, lefty loosey Peter. You could, if you want to, put some drainage material under here, like some um, um, what's it called? graphite. Where is it? Granite. Yeah, just some crushed granite. But this stuff's already under there because, like I said, with this one's on a retaining wall over there. I know it drains quite well here, so I'm not going to bother today. Remove the wires so they're not stuck underneath. Okay. Place our boxes over where we want them. Now I'm happy with the way this box is sitting, so I'm not even going to cut that at all. We're just going to fill it, we're just going to backfill it around that one, and that one will be fine. This one, however, is sitting a little higher than the other box, and where it comes through under there, where it comes through under there is obviously keeping it up high there. So we're going to cut this box just to just to bring it down a little bit in height and cut a hole in here just so the, uh, the pipe there has a, has a proper path. And cutting, I've always found the angle grinder be the best tool.
but that's a much better height. We've just got to make a bit of room for the pipe to get through. those are at a good level they're going to match each other and that pipe has a good path through because you can see the cut is nothing special no, it's pretty rough but it doesn't matter it's being buried all right. now before I go and backfill all this we'll just add the pipe into here so everything's ready to rock and roll <laughs> 